Uh, you will capture it. Oh, fuck me. You, you know, you'll get it. I'm, I'm useless, mate. Yeah, but I won't be able to see that side of the screen. You, you want to see it? You're going to be in the draft. Are you? A little listen behind the scenes there of how a professional local co-op YouTube channel works. You can tell you're getting old when you start worrying about people sitting in drafts. I am Couch Coop, and we're going to be looking at one of the best new local co-op arcade racers to come out this year. Previous holder of the crown, Hot Wheels unleashed in the background here, but we have a new king in town. This is LEGO 2K or 2K LEGO released on the PlayStation Network for this month for free with the bog standard subscription. What a joy and I'm at the party late. I do apologize. You still have a week and a bit to download this. Need it up, rookie. Why am I such a big fan of this and why did I bring up Hot Wheels Unleashed against games like maybe Sonic Team Racer or Crash Team Racers even? This is sitting on the SSD drive like Hot Wheels and it runs absolutely beautifully. Unfortunately, only two player split screen, but that's not to be sniffed at as these specs and graphics look phenomenal. This has got something very special, which we'll look at in a second, but this is the sort of day to day racing. Now it is PVP technically, it is about the first person going over the line, but it's a shared objective to open up, which is the cool part of this, the map. And it's got a story mode in it, which is the only mode we took time to look at. And there is more than enough to be getting on with. And it's the biomes. This is the starter. The prettiness of these colors, the way the vehicle metamorphosizes depending on what terrain it hits. And all this discoverable stuff, destructible environments. I was so not bag, as I always say pleasantly surprised i knew i was going to be in for a sensory piece of overload but i secretly knew this was going to be blinding but i really didn't think it was going to be as top notch and as much fun as we got out of it it's got an extremely detailed upgrade system and car lock mechanism but you can also construct vehicles literally from the ground up block by block which again didn't have time for we wanted to push through this story see cool new cars see cool new tracks more importantly open new biomes and that happens frequently there's desert there's a gold digging place there's even mini games including golf you just gobsmacked at how many events are littered around this map then you get to the white knuckle racing damage report So it's got this quite bold change to the traditional arcade racing control mechanism, giving you a drift on L2, okay, and then a sort of hard break on square. So you don't really have to worry about any medium or minor braking. It's kind of all or nothing. You swing into all the turns at full speed and you're constantly going for your boost. The nearest thing to it is Crash Bandicoot Racer at top end. And again, it does feel a little bit like Sonic Team with that boost bar at the bottom and receiving some amazing weaponry. This didn't even cross my mind that the guns and missiles and innovative weapons were gonna be or look this good. Back to that mini game thing. It's not just gimmicky golf and football stuff. You've got an actual zombie apocalypse protecting towers. There's waves. It's like a horde and you get an EMP and your job is to keep these things going. Smash through these alien bomber men. We were really amazed. This wasn't just an optional thing on the map. It's also structured into our progression and doing different races in the biomes to open up the new cars is something that was really pulling us through. I don't sound like that. Easily. I am. And yes, this is how you sound. Or will sound. And if I can stop you, this is also how you will look. Robot, move out. I want this flea and buy the numbers. Here's one I want to make very clear, and it's someone does need a PlayStation Network paid account to actually log in to the servers on this game. Obviously, you've got one because you've downloaded it free on the network, but I was extremely worried that my UK account was going to run into problems, but everything was okay. And then the next fence was whether or not I could join another profile without having that paid PSN. Really good news. The second player can just whip straight in. Progression is saved on that profile. I was very much amazed at that and extremely thankful. That could have gone really wrong. You never know with 2K, but no, everything is just awesome, no pun. And that's why I'm so excited about putting this video out. It's a bit of a rarity for me to get a PlayStation 5 game, get it free on the PlayStation Network and have that additional player at no fiddly extra cost. Easy join, they can leave, obviously not during a race, but in that open world map, this is a really true 10th gen arcade racer and I'm very pleased with it. Well 
let's talk performance. What we get with the split screen is 1080p. Okay, it doesn't go anything below that. It's not like you've got two windows at 720, so that's a pretty good deal. In the single player, I think this game runs at 4K at a peg 60 frames per second. Now, it does have some lag, but it isn't too distracting. I've never played such a busy arcade colorful racer in my life. When you're going around corners and when I was watching the replays, the dissipation on like bushes and fences and anything that's trackside is just amazing. So you can understand how that system is getting chugged when that screen is split. But do look out for it. If you're running it on a five, I want some feedback on that. It didn't really do us too bad, but the courses we were on may not be huge offenders. Pulling the younger ones into this is gonna be such an easy sell also. You've got Fortnite doing the rounds with Lego at the moment, and one look at some of these cool prefabricated cars is definitely gonna draw attention. That was the side that I liked. I was really concerned that the upgrade system was gonna be bit by bit, and you get a new wheel arch, and you have to go to a menu system and put that on, and then go back to the game. No, it will reward you a whole built entire car that then you can just slot in in one of your three amphibious, sort of off-road or speed slots. What I didn't check out either is whether the both of us could have taken our profiles online. I'm pretty sure that could have happened, but that would have been where my profile, the second one, would have been blocked without PlayStation network access. I'm not sure about that, so again, I'd love some feedback on it. There's actually a surprising amount of meta and getting the perk system, laying that over your vehicles or choosing which direction to go in. A lot of vehicles will have decent stats and when you build your own one, you start working around how best to make that thing perform or how crazy you want it to look. We've all seen the Tears of the Kingdom meme. So conclusions time, yeah, this is damn good. This is really accessible as well, not too difficult innovative control scheme and such an addictive unlock system with seeing what amazing lego vehicle you're going to get your hands on next the progression feels genuine and the voice acting and characters that are in there are okay they're going to appeal to all of the family but more importantly all of their dialogue is completely skippable whoa did you see that champ this is big news you earned enough xp to go from a class c racer to a class b racer starting now as mentioned before it now goes top on the list with sonic team races and crash bandicoot and even hot wheels unleashed sitting underneath it we haven't spoken about the four player or lack of and those aforementioned games do all feature it so i will be putting links into those on the annotations and in the description. I will be working on videos right up until Christmas Day. I've got a few more local co-op ones coming, so please keep your eyes peeled for those. And make sure you enjoy LEGO 2K, 2K LEGO races with people you're friends with, or family, and uh, enjoy the festive break. I'll see you down there.